hello friend hope you are doing well in this video we will see how we can auto update our plugin or our theme from uh, uh, github repository the process is very simple first you need a simple plugin so this is my plugin and i called it fun plugin okay if you are a wordpress developer uh, then probably you know these things like uh, this is a comment okay so here i have uh, the plugin name, plugin URI, description, version, author, and author URI. Uh, this thing is very special. Uh, we will use the plugin URI in this video. So here we will put uh, our repository URI. So I go and uh, I create a GitHub repository. I call it uh, fun fun plugin okay uh, i make this private and i create repository so now i copy all these commands and uh, paste in the terminal and as you can see now the code is uh, pushed to uh, the github and if I refresh the repository, uh, you can see, sorry, uh, I think only uh, get aired, only the readme file is pushed. So uh, I, I, I push all the files. So get a dot, uh, get commit minus a minus m and initial comment and git push i don't explain git in this video because uh, this video is not related to git and github uh, and i expect that uh, you know the git and github so as you can see now our fun dot fun plugin dot php is also here okay uh the next thing is and this is private repository you can see private uh, i copy this is the plugin uri or repository uri and i paste it here okay okay now uh, the next thing is to download this plugin so i click on code and i download uh, this is not actually a plugin this is a kind of script so I go to uh, the fun plugin and I paste the code here now you will need to extract I think the extraction is done yeah yes and uh, okay so i move this this folder outside and then i delete this folder and i rename this to i, I remove the the master i don't need the master uh, so the the folder name is plugin dash update dash checker and uh, then again you can see for github i need this code so i will copy this and i will paste it here you can see uh, it requires a file from this folder plugin dash update dash checker dot php and uh, uh, then it is asking for the repo name so this is the repo name and uh, the slug so the, the, the slug is uh, fun plugin okay and here it is asking for them for the branch so our branch as you can see man so I write man here 
maybe you will write master uh, you should look to the branch here okay and then it is asking for the github token personal token so you should go here then click on settings then click on developer settings then click on personal access token and here uh, generate a token so uh, I will call it WordPress plugin okay and uh, you should you should give minimal permissions okay uh, I give all the permissions but this is very uh, wrong so you should go go with the manual permissions like uh, uh, I think you just need to uh, the repo permission okay I delete all these I think uh, we just need uh, the repo permissions okay and I create I generate token uh, this is the token I copy it and I paste it here here uh, that's it now I'm ready for loading the this plugin so what I do now I just zip this folder okay and now I up, I upload this so I click on add new and upload plugin desktop I install this and I activate uh, I'm using WordPress multi network but maybe you will be use normal WordPress so don't worry there is no difference and as you can see our plugin is active now okay uh, if I check for update uh, actually the issue was related to the configuration so uh, I need to put the username and repo name so this is my username and this is the repo name uh, okay I this dot get is extra so I remove it okay from both places and uh, now I zip it And delete the old deactivate and delete I activate and now I click on check for updates and you can see the plugin is up to date everything is fine uh, now what I do is uh, uh, I release the second version okay and I push to github so I get git commit minus a minus m and this is a 2.0 version and I push the code okay uh, now uh, if I click on commits you can see my last commit so I updated the code on github and it's better if you can release the new version 
Okay, I should do something like this. Okay. And uh, I should also write 2.0. So this is the new release. And now if I click on check for updates. It is checking. And it is saying a new version of the plugin is available. Okay. So this means the update is available. And now I will click on uh, update now. So you can see the version is changed to 2.0. The plugin is updated. If you don't press this button, uh, if you don't press this check for updates, then it will uh, check automatically after 12 hours. Okay, you can see here by default the library will check the specified URL for changes every 12 hours. Okay, so if you don't press, uh, if you don't check yourself for the update, the the code will check it. Uh, will check for for the update every 12 hour and uh, we use the github configuration here you can see the bitbucket configuration here you can see the gitlab configuration and if you are hosted if you are hosting the the code the plugin or theme on your own server somewhere then the configuration will look like this but most of the people use github uh, Bitbucket and uh, uh, GitLab. Okay, so uh, I just shown update for the plugin. If you want to use uh, this code, okay, and if you want to auto update your theme, then you just need to keep this code in functions.php. Okay, so that's it.